I work on all kinds of projects from digital marketing, content creation, and home DIY builds. It's a lot to keep track of and can be overwhelming at times. Luckily, because I have good systems in place, I'm able to capture new ideas quickly, stay on top of my work, and keep a log of everything I need to do. And there's one tool at the center of it all, Notion. Hello, I'm Matthew Encina. Because many of you have requested it, I've teamed up with Notion, the sponsor of this video, to show you how I use the app to organize and keep track of my life. I've been using Notion for a few years now and it's become my favorite productivity app. It's a flexible tool that lets you store information, visually organize it, and make it functional to use. Because it can be intimidating to get started, I want to share the many ways I use Notion to give you ideas on how you might use it in your own life. One type of project that I do often and have a very clear process for is my videos. I've created a template that I use whenever I start any video project. This helps me focus on creating my idea rather than spending so much time organizing it. That's because the process is always the same. I start with a log line, the summary of the video. I do some research on the topic. I build a script, starting with an outline that I fill in with details as I go along. Then I make a shot list of everything I need to capture based on the script. Having a clear repeatable process is important for any creative work. You wanna keep your ideas flowing and not get stuck on thinking about what to do next. Another way I use Notion is to collaborate on projects. Recently, my wife and I got into woodworking and wanted to build out an entire art studio for her from scratch. This was all brand new to both of us, so Notion was helpful for us to keep this massive 10-week project organized. At the top of this Notion page were our goals for the space, which we defined at the beginning of the project. In our design phase, we were vetting out different concepts. We shared our various 3D renders of the space and materials we were considering. Because this was our first woodworking project, we had a lot of questions, like how to cut plywood or how to use a dowel jig. Every time we found a good video that answered that, we cataloged it here in case we needed to refer back to it. The biggest aspect of the project we needed to track was the cost. We set aside a budget of $2,000 to make everything. So I created this table that we could add items to, including the price and the quantity, and it would calculate the total cost for us. We went a bit over budget because of a few unexpected expenses. The beautiful thing about using Notion in this process is that everything was in one place for us to collaborate on, and it was flexible enough to store all kinds of information in. There's a quote by Peter Drucker that goes, what gets measured gets improved. For anything you want to get better at, you have to be consistent with and have a way of tracking your progress. Since my gyms have been closed for the past few months, I've been trying to keep up a healthy workout routine at home. So I created a workout board inside my Notion. I used their table feature to create a catalog of workout templates I could repeat every week. If I'm creating a new workout to do, I simply create a new entry on the table and name it. Then I click into the entry and open it as a page. I love getting fresh routines from YouTube, so when I find something I like, I just copy the link and embed it here. Then I add a table to list the exercises, and as I work out, I enter my reps for each cell, which is totaled at the bottom of the screen. When I'm done, I add a few notes for myself for the next time I do this routine. When I look at all of my workouts from a top level, I can make sure I'm alternating muscle groups mixing up the routine occasionally, and putting in enough time each week. Since I've started tracking five months ago, I've lost about eight pounds and have seen some gains in mass and strength. The last thing I wanted to share is how I keep track of all of my projects. In the past, I'd come up with all kinds of ideas. They lived in various notebooks, post-it notes, and the problem was, if I had more than two things going on at a time, I'd forget or lose focus. 
Luckily, I built out a project tracker using the table feature in Notion to keep track of all past, present, and future projects for me to do. This includes my work projects, my videos for this channel, and all of the fun grown-up tasks I need to do. While this can look daunting at first, I've set up different views using Notion filters so I can see only the things I should be focusing on right now. I can also filter by project category, and this helps me queue things up when I've knocked off tasks from my list. The awesome thing is that this is all from the same database. I'm just visualizing them differently to help me understand what I'm looking at, making it more functional to use. This way I know exactly what I should be doing week to week, and I can be more selective of where my time and effort goes. And that's an overview of how I use Notion to organize and track all the various parts of my life. If you want to get started using Notion, click the link in the description. It's 100% free for personal use. Getting started in Notion can be a bit intimidating at first because it's a blank canvas that you can organize however you like. That's why I've created a playlist of my favorite Notion tutorial videos, which I've also linked in the description. It takes about a day or two to get comfortable using it, but once you are, you'll probably end up moving your whole life on it, just like me. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. With that out of the way, it's time to get back to work.